Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have a times square root of a is equals to 125 and we solve this problem for all the values of a. So here uh, we need to find all the roots of this equation. Uh, so now we move towards the solution of this problem. So here our first uh, we need to remove this square root sign from left hand side and for this we take squaring on both of the sides and it will be written as a times of square root of a and its whole square is equals to this is 125 and its whole square so in the left hand side we use the nice uh, rule of square so we apply the square separately on both of these two values and it will be written as a square into square root of a and its whole square is equals to this is 125 whole square uh, so here we write this 125 as uh, you know, 5 cubed we know that 5 cubed becomes 125 and its whole square and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is a square these two and this square root are gone and we get here a only and this is equals to here uh, we need uh, to interchange both of these two values uh, so uh, both of these two exponents so uh, when you interchange these two exponents it will be written as 5 square and its whole cubed and in the left hand side we have when we multiply a square with a it will becomes a cubed is equals to this is 5 square and 5 square becomes 25 and its whole cubed and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and here uh, we move 25 cubed from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as a cubed minus 25 cubed and this whole equation is equals to zero so here we use the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have x cubed minus y cubed is equals to x minus y times of uh, x square plus x y plus y square according to this uh, formula we write our uh, above cubic equation as in this form first you have x minus y here our x is a minus y is 25 into further we have this is x square the value of x is a square plus x y the value of x is a and y is 25 plus this y square and y is 25 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to uh, divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a minus 25 equals to 0 and the second case is we write a square plus 25 a plus uh, this is 25 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now further uh, if you focus on here uh, we move minus 25 to the right hand side and it will becomes here plus 25 so this is the first real root of the given equation and here we rewrite this equation as a square plus 25 a and uh, this is 25 square and 25 square becomes 625 and this whole equation equals to 0. So in order to find the other roots we uh, need to solve this quadratic equation and here we apply the quadratic formula to solve this equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 25 and c equals to 625. And we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the over quadratic formula and here we need to substitute the values of uh, uh, a, b and c here. Uh, so when you put the values here it will become minus 25 plus minus square root of b square and b square becomes 25 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 625 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as a is equals to minus 25 plus minus this is square root of we have 25 square we know about that 625 equals to 25 square so that 
now we need to take common 25 square from here and we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 25 plus minus here you know that now we need to apply the square roots and separately on both of these two values and it will become square root of 25 into square root of 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3 and it is divided by 2. So now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as a is equals to we have this is minus 25 plus minus you know about that this 2 and square root are gone and we get here 25 only and also you see here negative sign appears inside the square root sign so it will becomes iota and it is divided by 2. So finally we have uh, there are three roots of the given equation and the, in, in which uh, these two roots are complex roots and we have a is equals to 25 be the one real root of the given equation. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.